Welcome to the Valley Cast. We have so much fun. Welcome, Joe, Stevie, and Elliot. Elliot's getting drunk again. What? We're all talking <laughs> on the internet. We have some big laughs. So please, everybody, welcome. Welcome to the Valley Cast. We're a Patreon. Elliot, put that drink down. Uh, <laughs> Why are we looking at it? It's right. so targeted. <laughs> Very it's targeted. targeted. I'm, I'm offended. Cry. I'm that upset. Was a cry for I'm, help I'm, for Elliot. I think I'm blown out. Am I blown out on the mic? Yeah. Yeah. I feel very low. Um, uh, I don't get drunk. I just drink a lot. There's a difference. A Reddit user Elliot's mom. <laughs> yeah. No, it was Reddit user Elliot's intervention. Whatever. Try putting up with the shit I put up with and not um, developing. Elliot's intervention from the Valley Folk. All right, you start, Joe. Yeah, you have okay, the first it. letter. We were starting this today. Actually, Kate brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> She's worried. Um, but yes, so that intro was f- also included a bonus video. It's a YouTube yeah, video. Oh, and it appears to be the person who made the song, but they're just listening to it. <laughs> is that what it and is? Half yeah, of it is That's just great. the top of his head. What's and his then, name? And then he points the camera at the Valley Cast video when it goes, "It's the Valley Cast," and then he goes back to like dancing to his own song. His it. name is Andrew Mack, Elliot. Thank you, Andrew. His name is Andrew Mack, and, and his address is one nine hundred. <laughs> yeah, 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 baby. <laughs> and the comments on the video here are: "This is my favorite one. This is a work of art." Very funny, although I think that L gets to drink whenever he wants to, as do I. It's a thing. <laughs> What's happening? I'm going to fix the me, though. That's uh, more succinct than what I said. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the Valley cast from the Valley folk. To, it's usually Steve Zaragoza, Elliot Morgan, Joe Barretta, and Lee Newton, but today Lee is out, and we have the very dynamic Kate Elizabeth. Hi, Hi. Kate. Hi. Thank you, Kate. Thank you for being here. Woo, Kate. Welcome, I had Kate. to be here anyways. Kate, you are an editor. You're you're a wondrous human being. You have a fun. T- I don't know a lot about your story, except that I know that it is uh, interesting. But I don't know a lot about the specifics. Um, how are you? How do you enjoy? How are you doing? How and, are you uh, this moment? Yeah, not uh, just a how are you. I'm not. I'm not diving into this. Isn't deep. hard. Just you just yet. say how you it's are. Just a, this is normal. just three men. He that asked really my backstory. Yeah. You don't have to be no, nervous no. about it. Yeah, Stop. I, know why. Kate, I can't not, edit. It if you blow out the mic, didn't ask. Well, didn't that's ask not the true because I edit dynamic or banter. The you can, oh, you can take yeah. it down, but it's gonna be distorted. Oh, absolutely, Willie. Hey, I'm not Steve, taking. Steve, turn down the audio just a little bit, but also take down her back sass about oh like, by a little bit of back sass. Yeah. I have to lower Steve's mic every <laughs> podcast, and it's distorted. I'm sorry. I'm a loud man. Um, I'm good. You're doing good. <laughs> Mm-hmm. This is your first time on the podcast, yeah, right? Yeah, my first time on the Bef- podcast. As the official guest, she's made like the drop-ins, the Canadian crosses, as they would yeah. say. Yeah, the improv. droppings. Yeah, she's I'm always in the, the room. Yeah, but I'm never sitting here. Um, but you're rarely present. Right, I'm usually shopping. That's true. I get that. Though, I would because be. I, I I take notes. I would be. Are you taking notes? I take notes the whole notes? podcast, and I already I pre-write what I'm going to cut out. Really? Oh, that's yeah. smart. Well, let's do. Let's start. Uh, it's naturally going to go to a little bit of an interview with, um, type scenario at the beginning of this because we want you guys to know uh, about Kate and stuff. So okay. let's first say more than just an editor, editor mm-hmm. shooter. She, you just graduated. I did. I just graduated college. Wow. Congratulations Thank to you. you. That's a feat. Definitely. How do you feel about it? Uh, it's actually a degree. It's a different. Yeah. yeah. Feet it doesn't. Me. I feel like nothing happened. <laughs> like I literally feel no different. I'm just like, oh. This is the rest of my life do you, now. Do you feel lighter? Do you feel like you have less on your plate? No. Mm. Yeah, you I were think I just have the whole. The... I think it was. I always had something to do. I had yeah. somewhere to show up, and I had like something I had to do. And now I'm just like I have the rest of my life, and I'm just like mm-hmm. to have something to do. To have something to do, and I'm trying to find the right thing to do. Do you That's miss your friends from college? No, I still see all of them. Cool. Like do you all... miss my friends? Yeah, I miss. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Are we your friend? Mm-hmm. You have you have aspirations. What's your backstory? I do. What? I what? Can... can you ask me like a specific <laughs> question? <laughs> What's where your did you like last have what? lunch? Um, I had a pop tart this morning. I said that where Elliot gave me. Oh, did in my office. Who brought he brought the pop tarts. Pop tarts. And I had Was that lunch? Like that. Um, no, lunch is a piece of pizza that I carried inside today. When did you last have lunch? <laughs> September. Kate, aside mm. from editing uh, a down. glorious podcast <laughs> that is at the top of the charts all the time, um, what do you want to do? You don't want to do podcasts all the time. Uh, no, I want to be a producer. I want to write and produce full time um, for comedic series and animation. 
for my like senior thesis to graduate school, I like wrote an entire season of a animated series and then had a storyboard animatic put together of the. <laughs> <laughs> this is a clip of her doing that I can drawing cut. and yeah. right and writing. This is, this is me writing. Um, it's called Starcatcher, and it's something I'm working on right now. But yeah, I want to produce and write. Um, follow up. How many times have I asked you to show me how cool that a few? thing is? Could we see it? Yeah. Like right now. Do you write primarily scripts and stuff, or do you do any kind of uh, other types of writing? Or did you always do screenwriting type stuff, oh, or yeah. was it? Did you go from something else? Or and that? when did you last? And when have did you lunch? last have lunch? And when did I last have <laughs> lunch? <laughs> it starts with editing. When I was 11, I taught myself how to edit on like Sony Vegas Studios. Yeah. Yeah, on my like parents' computer in the basement. I would just sit down there and then. Me and my siblings would do like little sketches, and then I was like, they were like, what do I say now? What do I do? And so I would, I started writing like um, the outlines to like cute. comedy. And this is in the, the tropical climate of Ohio, correct? Um, no, Indiana. 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 Indianapolis. Tropical Indiana. Tropical, tropical Indiana. Indianapolis by That's a cornfield. That's the name of the city. Tropical. Mm -hmm. That's where I grew up. I grew up in Indiana, and so yeah. And then were these I went younger siblings that you were. I can't really hear myself. What's happening? Yeah, like I turned you all the way down. <laughs> um, <laughs> Are they younger siblings or older siblings? Um, I've got five siblings. I've got one older and the rest are younger. Which ones were you directing in your... The ones that were like a couple years younger than me. They're easier to control, make, yeah. yeah okay. My older brother was never in my videos. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so I started writing then and then I went to college in Illinois for a while and did multimedia studies with like a filmmaking thing. Cool. Then I moved out here. I was like, I want to be a director. And then I was like, eh. Did you know anybody when you moved out here? No. No, I knew nobody wow. when I moved out here. Way to go. I had like one person that was like an old friend from a film camp, and that's it. Cool. I just recently spoke to one Mr. Ben Meckler. I love Ben Meckler. Yeah. Me oh, okay. Who's yeah, a friend ben of Meckler. mine. Yeah, yeah. He and he helped me so much. I just saw him at a party, and your name came up, oh, and cool. he was like, dude, she's so great. I remember she like wanted advice and so mm -hmm. we got coffee and he's like and she was really like she really listened and i and i felt really good about it and it was like a really great experience for me and he was like she's a great gal i'm glad you guys are working with her yeah so very cool wow weird loop around so yeah when i moved out here i didn't know anybody and i just knew like the kind of shows i looked up to and ben meckler wrote for adult swim and final space and everything and so i just emailed him and asked if I could talk to him. And he was like, yeah, in a month. And I was like, cool. And so I waited like a month and then I met him, I met up with him in a coffee shop and I instantly loved him because he showed up in like a pink poodle t-shirt, <laughs> like playing like a Nintendo, like as he walked in. Perfect. And he's like, I gotta walk my dog after this. And I was Skin like, all poodle. right. That's, yeah, he was super, fun. he was the first person that was like really kind to me for like without like need, like with yeah. no motive. Like he was uh, so kind. He gave me a list of places. He's like, you just move here? I was like, yeah. He's like, here's everywhere you need to go. Cool. He goes, if you ever write anything and you want me to read it, send it to me. What a sweetie. Yeah, Shout so out he's to Ben. Ben Meckler. He's the guy amazing. that does all those amazing yeah. tweets about mm -hmm. movies, so, movie so reviews. I think yeah. it's like, it's, it's a good thing to point out because Elliot has a couple of those stories as well. Sometimes it's like you're, you're afraid. Do they say, don't meet your heroes? Don't meet your idols, blah, blah, yeah. blah. But reach out sometimes. You Just did it ask. with Joel McHale and yeah. the, the bassist from Weezer. Weezer, yeah. And wow. they both say yeah. yes. That's so cool. Funny. They yeah. do yeah. say, don't meet your idols, but I met Billy Idol and I thought he was wonderful. <laughs> Honk. If you want to know my story about how I got here, it starts with it's it's Elliot. Um, so I was a h huge fan of Mike Falzone growing up, and um, I've heard of him. I mm -hmm. met him first, and then I became a fan because I was in Indiana and I went to um, the Subbox tour, which was a tour he did with like Megan Tonjes and mm -hmm. Tessa Violet, like uh -huh. back like I don't even know what year it was. When he was doing more music, than uh, yeah. yeah. When he was doing music, so yeah, he could music. tell jokes in yeah, songs, and so, so I loved Mike Falzone, so. Um, I'd lived out here for like five months, I think. And I, I was like, oh, he does shows. Like he does shows out here. And so I just started searching his shows. I found friends of friends, showed up. You 
performed. I didn't know this. That's cool. Yeah, you performed. I knew it was something like that. I knew it was some connection. I knew you yeah, were aware, but yeah. yeah, that's cool. And okay, so cool. I loved Mike, saw you. Um, okay, maybe you guys save it for your podcast, So and, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, <laughs> more. You have what a lot of like young up-and-comers in this industry have, which is... Which which a lot of people don't have, which is the like the drive to just fucking reach out to people. Just, just ask. Like I talk to so many people that are just like, what do I do? What do I do? And it's like, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I did what I did, and it and that's how it worked for me. I can't. There's no secret formula. There's no but, one way. But like reaching out to people seems to have really really worked for you. Apparently, yeah. Like in almost every well, way. Every when you do it. Every formal job I've ever applied to, I never get it, and then I just email I someone, mean, and they're like, okay. What yeah. I say like mm-hmm. uh, what a success is luck plus hard work or whatever yeah. and uh, you you did you had that that luck that just landed your email in our inboxes at the right time when yeah. we needed a you and since you other people have done it and there just there isn't time we don't have mm-hmm. the space or the need for people like that and you just you read right. it perfectly and here we are. Yeah, yeah, I remember when someone put their resume under the door and then you told me you're going to replace me. Because <laughs> <laughs> he formatted his yeah. better. Mm-hmm. Kate was part of our uh, Airbnb days. Yeah. Oh, yep. yeah. Our first office. Our first yeah. office. Was an Airbnb that because was so our business sketchy. partners suggested that we not meet somewhere like one of our homes because we'd be distracted <laughs> and we go to a place where we can all meet together and make it feel like we're starting up a little business. I think it worked. And it totally yeah. worked. It totally worked. I had a great time there. Those, I have some very fond memories of being there except for the fact the that kidney stones. during that time <laughs> I had kidney <laughs> stones. <laughs> but it was still such a weird time yeah, in my life. I would walk to the Hollywood Walk of Fame to get our coffee. And I'd lug it right back up the hill yeah. and climb the staircase. It was very, it was very like then, romantic. I remember being yeah. sad when when we left. Me too. I was genuinely I liked it sad. It was about so quirky. It. Yeah, it was such an old Hollywood like tiny Airbnb, exactly, yeah. no real AC. It was very. It was fun. the Hollywood story of our Hollywood story <laughs> that none of us really had because I moved to the the valley immediately yeah. when I, I was in LA. I didn't do the traditional like try to be an actor thing because I was doing YouTube and MySpace and being a digital creator and yada yada yada. So we never, and I think I, I might be not. I don't think I'm speaking for you guys. You moved to the valley immediately. Anyways, we don't. We weren't living in seedy downtown Hollywood no, yeah, trying exactly, to yeah. make it. I've we forever. weren't in the shit. And this was it. Like we had our little Hollywood mm-hmm. bungalow that we would go to and yeah. Work. Finally, we did it. Yeah. We, we set it up for ourselves. Walk down to that cafe by UCB and yeah, meet there. It was kind of nice. Remember, there was like a dead squirrel. We all kept. <laughs> That's kept here. checking out the That's here here. too. Yeah, dead squirrels there was just follow. A flat us. squirrel that we would watch for months. The as dead it squirrel society. Uh-huh. The dead squirrel scrolls. Uh-huh. That flat squirrel, Kate, is thank the you dead for sea squirrels. Me of that the that was squirrel. so interesting. It was mm-hmm. a completely flat squirrel. There's no other way to. It just kept getting flat. It. It, it was tire like a tracks, cartoon. It had tire tracks on it. And track. really? We'd watch it disappear. Sorry if this is gross for folks, but yeah, it was really. Oh, grow up! You know. And that's our office. <laughs> for months, yeah, we would watch Not it get you, flatter. Yeah, and grow become... up to the audience. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I'm saying grow up. Don't if you um, think that's gross, grow up. Flats miss flats. Squirrels get squirrel. flat sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Flats make squirrel. We watched him over three months. <laughs> Rascal <slowly> Flats. Be- <laughs> <laughs> that's better. Part become of part of the road. Yeah. Like, yeah, he did. I remember the day and he was finally he's gone. Fully part of the road. For a while he left his tail and then One he was day, finally son, the tail. I want to be part of the road. <laughs> Oh, what does that mean, Dad? <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I know. Do you want to know, son? Yeah, tell me, Dad. Well, you throw my dead body out onto the highway, just like Daddy, and then you let those cars run me over <laughs> until I come part of the road. <laughs> You think he was dead before he got tossed? I, sir, I you hope think his so. son tossed his father squirrel's dead body. <laughs> it's a tradition into the, in the, the Flatman's yeah, home. You're right. I mean, I'm sure he signed an advance directive, which some people do when they know they're going to pass. And he's like, it's, "Look, I don't yeah. want to be kept on life support. Throw me out. Throw me. I want to be on par- the road. I want to yeah. be part of the road. <laughs> Death rituals <laughs> like, so, vary from culture to culture, and this is just one more example of that. Now it says here in your grandfather's will, um, you guys have all taken care of the. Um, the monetary stuff, right? Mm-hmm. There's just one last thing here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You What's guys, that? I know that you're trying to figure out what to do with his body right now because yeah, we were thinking conflicting there's reasons. cremation. We, we were talking about burial. Right, and and uh, I know that uh, Christine said that he wanted to be cremated, but I know Joey said that yeah. he wanted to be buried. And quite honestly, it's starting to tear us apart a little bit. We well, whatever you want, whatever you guys want. Yeah. Well, I'm done. Um, I'm done. Well, I think I have the solution here, everybody, because okay. right here in his last will and testament, it says he wants to come part of the road. <laughs> <laughs> it says, I, Archibald Flatman, 
Mick Squirrel. Mick Squirrel. <laughs> this is a flashback to when he wrote yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Decree that when I am free the mortal coil, that my corpse, my dead body, my skeleton and skin, come part of the road. <laughs> <laughs> come part a road. Come part of the road. Come part of the road. I don't. I've never done this before, and I've I've never really shared like demos of things that I'm working on. Is this your music? But yeah, I, I the other day when we were shooting a hot take, um, sudden I had my guitar because there was a guitar. Great show, really fun concept. <laughs> we were shooting, and I had my guitar because I was going to come in and play some guitar stuff. And in between takes, I came up with this song. And we were just all singing it, and it was an annoying the fuck out of everybody because it's like really maybe one of the most annoying pieces of music I might have ever come up with. It ended up being about peanut butter. Like we keep, we're in this weird zeitgeist. I don't know peanut if the zeitgeist phase. is the right word, but we're in this weird zone with peanut butter peanut right now. Peanut butter is a fun word to say. Peanut I mean, butter. But I just don't understand. I mean, sure, it's a fun word to say, but why? Peanut I mean, there's a butter. lot of fun words to say. Murder. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> um, murder butter. It rolls right off your tongue. Uh, <laughs> murder. Murder Mur butter. Murder. Murder is not an easy word. <laughs> murder. Murder. I think anyone could learn that word. word, and that's the beauty of it. Um, <laughs> How's that look, Detective? Well, <laughs> you we scoured the whole scene. It's all marked off, but uh, there's murder butter everywhere. Murder butter. Oh. Well, our our... Search has brought us here to this road out in the middle of nowhere, but it seems like we are tipped off incorrectly because we don't see no body out here. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is that? What's that? No oh, man. Well, looks like Joey come part of the road. <laughs> 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 um. Anyway, so... Uh. Yeah, we've been coming up with all these songs about peanut butter. We came up with that mid-afternoon peanut butter spoon... Song and then Joe has like a rap that he's yeah, working got, on about. No, it's done. I'll, if you do yours, I'll do mine. Okay, great. Right. So Joe's got some rap that he's been working on for a while about peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> it's so Amazing. stupid. And it's yeah. like we. I realize like we're just coming up with all these peanut butter and jelly theme things. So like maybe we could do like a little album about peanut butter and jelly, Sorry. and to make me accountable for it, you call it an EPB. Oh, E P B and J. No, well, you called it uh, peanut butter and the no, jams. No, P B and jams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's awesome. But P B and jams. The, I, P, the E P. The E P. The E P. The E P. Yeah, P B. The P B and jams. The E P. The E B P. The E P B. The E P B. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so uh, yeah. So here's the song I've been working on. And uh, it's nowhere near finished. And you guys this are is in for a treat. You guys are in for a real treat. It's gonna make me accountable Fuck. for it because I just like fucking picked up my guitar literally on Friday, and I sat over here with the Zoom and the mic, and I just laid it down and did all the vocals over here too, which must have sounded insane to people outside of the room. Uh, without further ado, here's the demo for a song called. Man, it doesn't even have a name. Untitled peanut butter song. <laughs> Creamy. 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 Pleasant. Thank you. I've got peanut butter on my foot. Peanut butter, peanut butter on my foot. I've got peanut butter on my butt. Peanut butter, peanut butter on my butt. Peanut butter here and peanut butter there. Peanut butter in my underwear. Peanut butter here and peanut butter there. Peanut butter in my grandma's chair. Peanut butter on my foot. Peanut butter, peanut butter on my butt. Peanut butter, peanut butter on my butt. Peanut butter, peanut butter on my foot. Peanut butter, peanut butter on my butt. Peanut butter, peanut butter on my butt. Peanut
I'd like um, to propose one thing. Okay. A saxophone solo. Oh, that's a great I, idea. That's awesome. Like Kenny G, like wow. saxophone solo. That is such a good idea. Mm-hmm. Do you if I can get a saxophone, I'll play it for you. I play a saxophone. What is that? What is that? A brass? No, you left that out in the I whole beginning of the podcast. I got that huh? trumpet in the other room. Mm-hmm. Oh, Joe Joe on the trumpet? Uh oh back. man, Joe, yeah. yeah. Would, you, would you do that? Yeah, would man. you would you add your Just trumpet some, stylings to the song? Like a little interlude like I am. Dude, I. Is that a ship? Was that a a ship on the (laughs) the seas, the high seas? No, it's my brass. It's the brass. It makes you picture. Like, I started. You were painting a picture in my mind with that crazy ass song you just played. (laughs) I saw a little cherub boy in overalls. (laughs) He had a straw hat on. He had no shirt, so it was like, and and it was the bottom of his pants were frayed. He was barefoot. No he eyes. He had his no, yeah, no absolutely eyes. no peanut butter where his eyes in his pockets, and he was just singing that song. <laughs> but he had peanut butter for eyes, like eyelids closed over. Peanut butter there, peanut butter in my underwear. <laughs> I, you know what, Joe? Everybody who hears it pictures something different. When oh. Owen pictured it, Elliot pictured a similar thing, which was if there was ever going to be a music video for it, it would be like someone completely covered in peanut butter, obviously. Yeah. It's you of completely course. covered. Yeah. I mean, if, if it's me, I pictured whatever. you walking down the beach, kicking up sand with completely like, head to toe in peanut butter. In peanut butter just yeah. walking around and like trying to pay for it. And thing. like watching <laughs> the sunset, like yeah. just taking a moment for yourself. Do you think birds would just start attacking you? Probably, yeah. I would keep filming. Definitely, That's birds so would start landing. Yeah. On that'd be such yeah, a fun right. shot to start. If it didn't, if it didn't hurt, we could, you can make a safe word. Imagine. But if it doesn't hurt, I'd like to keep filming. We'd have to, we'd I'm, have to get get a, we'd have to rent a van yeah. where we have all the peanut butter, and then we'd have to park we it as close to the beach as possible. Yeah. I got, an, yeah. I got another pitch. Yeah, okay. It's a single shot. It's it's probably. Let me play the music while you say it. Peanut it's, butter it's a single peanut shot. We're gonna have to turn that down. It's like maybe your clavicle up. You're staring straight down the barrel of the camera. Like great. Sure, there's like sure. a ring light, so like we can goatee. see the yeah. We can see that the, the color yeah, of his irises nice. of his eyes. Right. That's a good example. And you're singing this the whole time, and you bring up with one hand this big jar of peanut butter. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, no brand. Mm-hmm. Just a jar. No maybe brand. a mason jar. A huge mason mm-hmm. jar. And you've got a spatula. Mm-hmm. And the whole time you're Artisan just peanut butter. staring mm-hmm. down. Yeah. The type that you have to make stir up a little mm-hmm. bit. You know, because the oil's on the top. And you're slowly just taking it out while you're singing and painting your whole. <laughs> Oh face, God. hair, just slowly shoulders and clavicle. One but you end the painting, you get it all done way sooner than you would expect. You think this is going to go on for the whole music video? You're done with that part by it like happens halfway really through. Quickly. But then the camera starts to just slowly pull, pull out. Oh, I love And we I see, see that you've already painted the rest of your body with peanut butter. Uh-huh. And you are covered and naked, head to toe, peanut <laughs> butter. And then you get to a full on wide shot of you standing there. And then you just start. Walking towards the camera, <laughs> finishing out the song. Dude, dun, I thought dun, you were. Dun, dude, dun, dun, can dun, I suggest dun. something very similar? But instead of walking towards no. the camera, it depends. Like, great. <laughs> anyway, Ellie, do you have a topic? <laughs> I, I was gonna say uh, similar to Joe's, just to, to add to it. But if you were to also uh, memorize the pronunciation of the song backwards, oh, and then and then and the play whole it, video is played forwards in one shot. Oh, I love it. <laughs> wait, we're wait. David Lynch in this bitch. Oh, it, it, adding on to Elliot's, then keeping yeah. the walk. At the end no, of it, no, 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 take the you walk stop. away. You know, at the end of it, you stop you t- because you stare at the th- you stare at the camera again. Camera comes in close to your face again, and then it does the thing where it just tracks around to the backside of you, and then pulls out wide again. And we see you stopped right in front of a woman covered in jelly, and then you guys <laughs> just and it's like embrace. a beautiful love story. <laughs> yeah. Okay, listen. Can I suggest something that now that you've ruined my potential idea because I think that's better? What if she's covered in ham and they walk away from each other like, well, we tried. Yeah. Listen, I, my idea was <laughs> doomed to, doomed my to idea was we take it from 
We take wow. Okay, well, I just pulling that hair out that was on there, and now I, I'm sorry I did that. Anyway, um, <laughs> Joe, instead of the camera, instead of me walking towards the camera covered in peanut butter, you go full out and you see that I'm covered head to toe in peanut butter, the same exact way. But then the camera moves this way, and there's a massive like body sized canvas. And I just run and smash my body into it. And then all of these other people come out in jelly and peanut butter and they all start smashing onto the canvas. <laughs> and then we just have this like piece of art in the middle of the room and the video ends. I love that. That's so fun. Yeah. And then we auction it off. Yeah, we do it all slow-mo. So everyone's like running covered in peanut butter, like jumping onto the canvas. And then you get the shots of like the peanut butter splattering I love that. off I, of the canvas. I really want to make this. Are we going to hang the art in the office permanently? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it would probably rot and be disgusting. We'd have to figure out a way to seal the yeah. food onto the canvas. Put a little, little um, get like a deck, like a, you know. Decoupage. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think this is where I start. Here I go. <clears throat> I got the PB and the J, the PB and the J. Don't care what people say, I got the PB and the J, the PB and the J, the PB and the J. I eat it every day, I got the PB and the J. I got that funky, chunky, crunchy, and I eat it in a jiff. I need it skippy, so please hit me with that chunky on my lips. My Peter Pan will never land and make a plop upon the ground. I love the thicky, sticky, icky, cause you know I eat the brown. My nutty buddy drives me nutty when we spoon and it's obscene. My body getting naughty with the crunch and with the cream. It's fitting that it's getting in three meals throughout the day. Peanut butter is the king, and my PB needs some J. Now I'm jamming on my jelly, and my jelly jams are tight. Preserving what I'm serving, and I'm serving jam tonight. This boys and berries, and it's scary just how love I tell the smuck. The blue, the black, the ding, the ding. Go back, go back, shit! <laughs> go back, go back. That's the tough part. This okay. is really good. You want me to bring wow. it back? Or do you start from the top? Not from the top, just go start. back a little bit. Okay. Okay, here it comes. Wow, you know where we're at? It's when the music changes. And my jelly jams are tight Preserving what I'm serving And I'm serving jam tonight This boys and berries And it's scary Just how much I love the smuck I love the straw The rasp, The blue The black And don't forget the huck Apricot up in the squishy The fruit is so delicious Put it into bed on bread And give a peanut butter kissy Now it's time to open <laughs> wide And consummate away There's nothing left to say The PB got the J The PB and the J The PB and the J Don't care what people say I got the PB and the J The PB and the J The PB and the J I eat it every day I got the PB and the J. That's it. That's like. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so it's good. so good. Uh it's like we're it's very it's it's too good for what Yeah, we're like making an album. It is. Yeah, it's wanna, really really good. I want to point <laughs> Both out of a, them are, mm -hmm. and mid-afternoon wow. peanut butter spinach. Yeah, yeah, they're so and weird. They're different, they're, different, they're yeah. weird and they're fun. Can I uh, They're also uh, like like this is not whatever, but we do so few things that are actually family friendly. <laughs> like, I know. This is nice. This is <laughs> um, a, I'm gonna feels cool. I'm gonna pat myself on the back with a couple lyrics here because you okay. might not have. Dude, the peanut them. butter kissy or whatever was one of my favorite um, lines. The lyrics yeah, have me to come too. up. The lyrics have to come up on yeah, the screen yeah. because uh, one of the lines is "This boy's in berries and it's scary," but it's "This boy is in berries and it's scary." In berries, so like boys in berry. This like boys and berries. Boys and berry. Scary. I turned into boys in berries. This boy <laughs> is in berries. I love that line. And then I also apricot up in the squishy Apric makes me I love happy. That. Um, <laughs> apricot. Apricot up in the squishy. Oh like, golly! And then I really love. Now it's time to open wide and consummate away. Is consume dash mate away? <laughs> so it's consummate, but like <laughs> with eating. I want to write a peanut allergy song. Oh, that could be Elliot's Where it's track. like a real sad like, I was oh, in I a, can't I, eat peanuts. I was in Target oh, this I weekend, can't. and I went. To, I saw the aisle of Oreos, and I went over to it, and it was like, I was like, I wonder if they had the peanut butter Oreos. And I went over, and they did, and I, I grabbed I touched it, and I went to grab it, and I put it back. And then I grabbed it again, and then I put it back completely sincerely, and I no one saw, but I was like an actual moment of like, <laughs> No, I'm not gonna buy the peanut. Don't buy the peanut butter Oreos. No, I I will buy. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. And I walked away like feeling really in. good about myself. Like that. Like really. Like I had control over my uh, my urges. And uh, and yeah, I love that stuff so much. Anyway, that's the end of this. Wow, I love, the, I love, I love the idea of what's probably still in your cart. Like there's just like seven bottles of Jack. There's like four it was a sta It was scissors, a stapler. It was yeah, exactly. It wouldn't have all these other vices. Yeah, it's like. But no, the peanut butter Oreos, yeah. that's where I Not draw today, the line. Not today, Elliot Morgan. Can I yeah. suggest something so big 
that it cannot be contained <laughs> in simply an idea. It just must be done. Okay. Joe, Elliot, Kate, audience, but more Joe, Elliot, and Kate. Mm -hmm. What if we really put a schedule down for this peanut butter thing and we do like two videos, whatever the songs are, and then one of the songs on the album is an epic rap battle collaboration and it's crunchy versus creamy. Oh my God. I would just say, well, let's just double check that that's never been done before. Can you check and see if that's never been done before? How epic do I rap do that? Can, How do I do that? I just type in epic can rap I... battles, peanut butter. On what, what do you mean by type? What? Huh? What do you mean? I'm very confused. I think How I'm following. How do you following. check things if they've happened before? <laughs> Joe's being so funny. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I was like, I like, I think you caught him a little later than I did, but I was like, <laughs> not, I was like, I hate this. I was like, if you guys really were all on board, you could make me feel insane. And I started to feel trapped. <laughs> Dude, that's. Please let me produce this album. Yeah, but I mean, I'm like, so yeah, shouldn't, we, re shouldn't we reach out to the epic rap battle guys and be like, guys, if you've never done crunchy versus creamy, then we can collaborate on it. Joe, yeah. you can be one of the rappers. What if we got like Watsky to be the other one or something? I'm done for all that. I think we should Imagine do it and then not say anything about it after this podcast and drop all of it at one time. Yeah. We just did two. Peanut butter. Here's a video or album. Have they done video. it? Uh, no. Well, that, I, I don't. He got so. distracted. He's just checking his email. <laughs> I'm just looking up smooth versus chunky peanut butter rap. And <laughs> just wanna, dude, come up. I'm telling you, imagine that. Like, and imagine this, because Joe is like a really good like lyricist. Mm -hmm. Like Joe, you you have like really great poetry and and then like really complex rap lyrics and stuff. And then the epic rap battle guys are like so fucking good and so fucking funny. So imagine a collaboration between those guys and Joe, and then say like a Watsky or something. Like imagine that. So we mentioned the goal thing for a uh, picture and uh, the 5,000 and then me dyeing my hair. And then I didn't think that would ever happen. And, uh, and it seems to be not happening anytime soon, but there's momentum People have and I'm very scared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm very nervous yeah. and, uh, I'm you excited, a, and this is also half a ploy to get people to sign up. You have up, a caring but. audience. Can I can I add to how you'll figure out what that is? And this would also, I think, help push the the Patreon a little bit. Is that it should be you can do a voting system on on our Patreon. Yeah. So we'll like we'll scour the comments to see what are the most popular for. You what can do year. a voting system. Yeah, you, that's how we did shirts in the, the past. The poll. The poll. So we'll gotcha, do a gotcha, poll gotcha. on our Patreon. So you have to be part of the Patreon to vote. To be involved. And it'll be. So when we hit that number. <laughs> The colors will be on that, but in, on oh, that's a good idea. Piggybacking yeah. onto that, though, I was going to say you have a very caring audience. They're going to make me look cool. A lot of them are just like, let's have them dye it what it is. Yeah, or like, yeah, <laughs> I, which is really, 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 really funny. It's very. If there cute. was a, a group of people that like skewed the results to make that happen, and I just dyed my hair. Dude, I'm dark <laughs> brown. I mean, it looked really weird. Dude, I mean, you you could do it. That it might just, be one of the worst options. It would just be super sad. Dude, I'm gonna yeah. be. Uh, It'd look weird. I'm gonna putting signs on lawns. I'm campaigning for Stark White, man. I'm going. That like. White. white yeah well yeah. as someone that dyes their Gray. hair i don't know because to get white you'd have to bleach your hair you have to do and a it's, lot right does your hair grow fast it does grow very i fast. realize then you're okay yeah. but i was like whatever's on your head's ruined no it goes pretty fast i'll okay. be all right yeah yeah I'm but then if we get to ten thousand, he has tips. to shave his yep. his hair and his face whatever's on your hair is ruined is something i heard a lot as a yeah, child on your head <laughs> 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 whatever your hair is on is that what is I said ruined. has to shave his hair and his head or no something? she said whatever's on your hair is ruined after you dye it oh yeah which yeah, means you have to let it, it grow out yeah. essentially it's, yeah it which makes it is traumatizing brittle. for me because like I have yeah hair. you have blue hair yeah I forgot that listeners. like Oops. his hair is not my length right yeah uh, you're okay you your would hair have to... has stayed pretty blue yeah no this isn't going it. away really it's no. cool. this is your hair now it's the same color as your eyes I yeah, 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 it it matches my eyes, but blue stains your hair, and so I'll have this until I have to dye over it. Oh, really, until, like dye. red tones wash <laughs> out. So if you dyed your hair pink, it wash. It all out, comes down to the which pigment, is why our yeah. hair fades so fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what did you have for lunch yesterday? What was the last uh, thing you when had? Was for road lunch? squirrel. <laughs> Soup. <laughs> Should we do ads? It was chicken yes. nuggets. Road Ooh, squirrel. I'm excited about the ads. I'm very excited by this. I thought the sponsor had already passed us previously, but fortunately they hadn't, and I'm here, guys, to talk to you today about a little product called Blowfish 
for hangovers. Everyone has some hangover routine that they swear by, but there's only one the FDA actually agrees with. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet Blowfish. Blowfish is the only hangover product with a formulation that's recognized by the FDA as safe and effective. No need to plan ahead since hangovers are rarely something we plan for because it works in about 15 minutes. So you just drop two Blowfish tablets in water and you drink up and then uh, when the fizzing stops. It's a combination of aspirin and caffeine. Aspirin. But the magic is effervescence, so it works <laughs> twice as fast as regular pills and is much, much gentler on your stomach. Plus, it's got a money-back guarantee. Bottom line, no reason not to try it, and you should have this in your medicine cabinet. Why is it named Blowfish? Because they tested it, and that's the only name hungover people could remember. So oh. remember it. <laughs> Blowfish. Is that true? That's very that's funny. That's so funny. Yeah. Um, okay, so <coughs> excuse me. right now they're offering uh, listeners of the Valleycast 20% off at 4hangovers.com slash valleycast. That's for hangovers.com slash valleycast for hangovers.com slash valleycast. And uh, it's the best selling hangover remedy, and I used it and I, was I ran ask out. You, what did it taste more. like? Did you enjoy it? It's the like taste? citrusy. Oh, good. Good, good. good. It's, like it's old... not like you don't drink it, you wouldn't drink it for fun, but it has a medicinal taste yeah. to it. And then the caffeine and the aspirin does take effect in literally five minutes. And cool. it's, very, uh, it's very fun. And yeah, I used it in Florida a little bit. And. Um, and it's it's a fun it's a fun one. It's a very quick like oh okay, we're back. It's also fun even if you just don't have a hangover at all. I always started taking them just before shows and stuff to get energy, and that was really nice oh, too. It's like a little boost, a little, little yeah. Boost. But okay. what do you have to talk about? Jay? Hey, I want to talk about Upstart dot Wait, let me do a different song. Why don't you just bring it right up and it'll it'll naturally come under me. As most of us have found out, the hard way getting into debt is easy. Getting out is hard. That is true. That's a bane of my existence, especially if your FICO score ain't great. Thankfully, now there's Upstart.com, the revolutionary lending platform that knows you're more than just your credit score and offers smarter interest rates to help you pay off high interest credit card debt, which is something that helps in like the world of post-college, right, Kate? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, says Kate. <laughs> okay. Upstart goes beyond the traditional with a FICO smile. Do it score. Again with a smile. With a smile. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we'll dub it over. Upstart we'll make her smile on the post. traditional yeah. FICO score when assessing your credit worthiness. They actually reward you based on your education, Kate, and job yeah. history, Kate, I in the form job. of welcome, a smarter Kate. interest rate. Kate. Upstart um, believes you're more than just your credit score. They believe in you, and they understand that. They make it fast, simple, and easy to check your rate in just a few minutes without affecting your credit score. That's dope. Whoa. That's a weird anxiety we all live with. The best part? Once the loan is approved, most people get their funds the very next business day. The next day. That's efficiency. Over 200,000 people have used Upstart to pay off credit cards, student loans, fund their wedding, or make a large purchase. Fund their wedding. Kate, free yourself (laughs) from the burden of high-interest credit card debt by consolidating everything into one monthly payment with Upstart. That's the last time we fund your wedding, Kate. (laughs) See why Upstart is ranked number one in their category with over 300 businesses on Trustpilot and hurry to Upstart. Upstart.com slash ValleyCast to find out how low your Upstart rate is. Checking your rate only takes a few minutes and won't affect your credit. That's Upstart.com slash everybody ValleyCast. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Good music choice, Steve. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. I was trying to pick something nice. Hey, guys. It's your pal Steve here doing an ad for you. You're going to love this because uh, here's how it goes. When you need red wine at 4 p.m., (laughs) Sushi at 9 p.m., a breakfast burrito at 8 a.m., and ibuprofen at 10 a.m. Postmate it. That's right, guys. Postmates is your personal food delivery, grocery delivery, whatever kind of delivery service all year round. Anything you're craving, Postmates can deliver. They're the largest (laughs) on-demand network in the U.S. and offer delivery from all the restaurants, grocery and convenience stores, and traditional retailers. Ooh. You could possibly want or need. That's right, guys. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Postmates will bring you what you need within the hour. No more trips to the store. You don't even have to know where the store is. Postmates will deliver anything to you. Download the app for iOS, Android, or Android for free. Browse local restaurants and businesses and track your delivery in real time. So, guys, for a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners $100 hairs. That's $100. (laughs) I so doubt it would be said. I was like, what are they doing? <laughs> a bag of 100 doll hairs. <laughs> That's right. Postmates is giving our listeners $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days, guys. Seven days of $100. You do the math. 
to start your free deliveries. Download the app and use the code ValleyCast. That's code ValleyCast for, now listen carefully, $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Anything you need, anytime you need it, Postmate it. Download Postmates and save with code ValleyCast. Wow. Um, do you guys realize this this podcast, if my math serves me correct, will be the uh, the next public podcast uh, that goes up on Wednesday next week? Uh, will next, be yeah. the first after the premiere of Bring the Fun. The so show. this will be actually the, the, no, 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 you're, no wrong. you're wrong. Am I? Yeah. yeah oh you're wrong. shit. The Are one that's sure? going to be right the f- before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, time. yeah, this When's one's the... the one before. This yes. is the last one that oh, will go mean before. Publicly. Oh, but you know yeah. what? For the next uh, gotcha. the next podcast There's we record, Becca. we should talk about whatever is shown in the first episode of the show. We have a podcast that's going to go up after Bring the Funny. Like right after it? Oh, oh really? Yeah, I edited it oh. a while oh. ago. Mm. Oh, oh wow. maybe we'll, oh. we'll oh. chat. We we'll chat. Yeah, oh. we have to my, see if that thing maybe. turned out. Shuffle. I'll cut all of this. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh. No, this is fun. This is all good. But yeah, uh, it's very exciting. And uh, yeah. we look forward to uh, y'all's responses. And thank you for Dude, watching. Dude, it's so interesting. You've talked about calms before the storm within the company, but there's a calm before the storm with the, how this show is being marketed right now. Because like, everybody on it got the, the thumbs up to go, hey, you can say you're going to be on the show. Use these assets that we made for you. And mm-hmm. they sent us a folder. And we did. And since then, Everybody's just kind of like stopped talking but about no it a little knows. bit. Nobody yeah, knows it's what to scary. say. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, because we're in this like black I mean, hole. You guys know how television production works. We've shot quite a bit mm-hmm. or a little bit or enough. And we want to be able to say things about our experience, but we can't because we're legally our experience was is fun. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but that's the thing. It's like there's just there's. We want to say things. We're, we're too excited. I'm excited, and we don't know what to do. We're, we're we feel like it's we're tough. held back a little bit. Yeah. I've seen the rehearsals, and it's really fun. Yeah. Kate and well, Kev you, helped Kate. us. You, I filmed them on my iPhone. Do the craziest stuff with like miming and talking about stage direction. Well, I'm yeah. hoping we can release some of those someday. Yeah, where I have them all on my phone. Yeah, so. manic rehearsals. They're uh, really fun. To the point that you're making joke of or Joe the um, joke Beretta. Joke Beretta. Thank uh, you, Joke Beretta from. Uh, from Brad's and Brad. Uh, mm-hmm. The uh, the thing of like not talking, we're so used to to just being like so transparent with everyone that it's almost a reflex to be overtly honest. And as a result, when guidelines or stipulations are put on what is typically, you know, all inclusive honesty, it's jarring, I believe, for us in some way. And it's a different, it's a difficult balancing act that we're all on. Yeah, Thank absolutely. You. Thank Elliot. you, Elliot. More joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to parlay hmm. something into you. Hmm? On to me. On to you. What? <laughs> um, so when Kevin was on here, and we've talked about this this type of stuff before, but yeah, I'm, I'm interested to get your opinion on it all. Oh, no. um, we all have our favorite productions and pieces that we've produced here at, oh, at yeah. the Valley Cast, and our favorite ones that we worked on, which may or may not be the same thing. I'd like to ask you that question. What is in your year and a half time oh, with us now God. been some of your highlights? And if you don't have any, be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I've hated everything I've yeah. made here. This might be the all first ever fully valley only valley folk referential podcast that we've done but yeah talking with kate and then yeah your stuff the peanut butter yeah patreon and Mm -hmm. now bring the fun it's fun Uh, just i'm gonna write that down what a combo wow we've changed so much like on what we put out like since we started i really miss out yonder (laughs) (laughs) that was your (laughs) that's disgusting (laughs) i'm writing wow sorry wow wow i think my favorite era was like honestly like not the was it this most recent fall or before yeah like this most recent fall the songs and um uh, the the second Scuzz songs goes to the puppet strip club yeah, yeah. we did when we did a lot of off location shooting was amazing yeah. i missed that Scuzz like goes to the strip club should have done so much it should have and i have still memories of that night being like i think i'm the only person having fun here <laughs> yeah. and i yeah, was having well, a great time you were having too well, much fun we, was, le- we left you there i was on cloud yeah. 9 i was playing blackjack with puppets yeah. and drinking out of an it open was bar like, it was yeah. Wonderful. It was like a hundred degrees outside and ninety-five inside. And, the power and then out. the power.
power went out. Everyone so was that's not inside. very fun. Everyone was trapped inside underground. <laughs> yeah, but we were already puppets. yeah, and like it's so hot, like <laughs> unbelievably like, how, hot. I, it was so surreal, and it just seemed like everyone went with it, like it was the most normal inconvenience. Yeah. It's like, oh, of course, we went to the puppet party, we played blackjack in an open bar, and the lights went out, and, and it's everyone hot was as fuck. very just like. Obviously, it's so mm-hmm. stupid, but I was like, do you see yourself? Do you hear your, where right. you are? Right, right. But also, everyone was tired, too. So I'm Yeah, like, it was so much fun. I just had, like, a giant backpack on me, and I was crammed into this tiny little yeah. sweaty. I had, like, camera gears and tripods sticking out, and I'm, mm-hmm. like, trying to shove. Lee was, like, really uncomfortable at first. You could tell, like, yeah. being... The only one that brought a puppet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one that came. It's like the girl no, wearing like, no, the Fernesta was t-shirt. there. Fernesta. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, like... Yeah. Ernesto was there. It ended up being like really fun, but it was it like and there was a power outage. There was. I remember yeah. that. And so she like we it was her and Scuzz and then they were just crazy. And I think I had a bar. panic attack at yeah, one point. Yeah. Because I was just like, it's too fucking hot in here. I feel dehydrated. Was, I gotta go. You were certainly the it only was one a having weird, fun. Yeah, I was it was right. a weird night. <laughs> it was and very strange. I was time. carrying I Scuzz <laughs> and I I <laughs> I've yeah. never had a memory where it's defined by I that was fun. I was the only one who had fun. That's yeah. a unique yeah. You were in a different <laughs> were, universe that uh-huh. night. Yeah. I was like, has anybody seen she like has anybody seen Elliot? And then she's like, I left him my drink tickets and we're just gonna go home now. <laughs> yeah. But I remember that I was carrying scuzz at one point when Lee went to the bathroom and I tripped on someone that was coming through the cur- beaded curtains and like almost like lost scuzz and they like kind of caught him and handed him back to me and it was Josh Peck. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and I was like, thanks for my puppet. Dumb, Who was the guy that, uh, that- It was random people there. Random, yeah. Who was the guy with the dog that, that brought his dog in there and oh he was like, God. I'm the shit so I can bring my dog Harrison in Harrison Ford. No, Harrison it was, Ford it was that dog. guy that like smashes his face into glass and he thinks it's funny. Harrison Ford. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I forgot his Anyways, name. Anyways. Back- Jack, one of the jackass Steve-o. guys. Steve-o. Steve-o. Yeah. That's who it was. I Yeah. Just anything where you guys are playing different characters or we're off location. Those are yeah. always experiential just experiential stuff. Being out of the office. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. More out yonders mm-hmm. would be great. And then I've honestly just had fun sitting in there while we're filming your show. It's fantastic. Yeah, your show's yeah we have a lot fun. of fun in there. It's weird so experimental much fun. stuff. Cage. I've got like a, a video that I want to do hamster. called uh, The Valley Folk Try on Wedding Dresses. Oh, my God. You can ha- come in and help us do that one. <laughs> Kate, do you want to get into joking. the giant sex sock with us when we try to fit as many people as we can into a giant sex sock? It's not for Valley Folk. <laughs> <laughs> we are asking you for outside help. <laughs> it's a brand outside deal. Outside of the company. It's a brand deal. Coca-Cola. We, so you guys have seen this video where we where we all got it, where Elliot and I got into a sex sock wow. and then Joe and Lee joined us. And now we what we want to do is we want to get as many people as we possibly is can. What if we could get the yeah, try guys? Yeah, we want to see how this many people real? we can fit yeah. into a I'm sex so sock confu- without what? it. Can I ask what a sex, sex. sex? Yeah, yeah. You didn't watch the video. You didn't watch Wish List, Kate. Oh, I didn't watch it. No, uh, I don't watch any of our content. Don't worry. Most I don't even watch what I make. Yikes! Yeah. Well, All right. Well, thanks for listening to the podcast. Thank you everybody. so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're actually at a great point to stop. Yeah. Um, <laughs> want to thank Kate for being here. Kate, please meet us after. After the podcast, we have some things to talk about. But first, watch wish list, and then we'll talk. I'm gonna watch um, it out time. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys. I mean, we, we should end it. It's fine. It. We don't have much more to say. We just want to do some fun shit in the future, and we're gonna make a bunch of awesome shit and mm-hmm. bring the funnies coming. So we're going into like a real scary world, an exciting world with uh, with the channel. So we're just hoping to continue to entertain you all and. For those of you that have been listening and been like, I don't know who any of these people are. I don't know who Kate is. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's this part of the podcast. Like, I still have no idea what's going on. Thank you for hanging right. out. Thank you for hanging out. Oh. So this one can be bring to fun doing the math. Hold on. This one will be public when we'll be, we're going to we're going to RTX. RTX. We're, we're going to be in Austin yeah. this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. this weekend. So yeah. Uh, yeah. we'll be doing um, our, a live podcast there. Mm-hmm. We're doing a meet and greet. Come say hello. And we'll also just be exploring the city. So uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm so excited. I love Austin. I love the Rooster Teeth people. I've never been to RTX. It's I've never been exciting. to Austin. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, I'm so wonderful. so 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 excited. It's wonderful. And I'm going from Florida to Austin. So yeah, it's gonna be so fun. It's it's gonna wonderful. be hot. All right, everybody. Yeah. Well, listen. Thank you, Kate, for being our special thank guest you. today. Kate, Kate, what's your socials? How can people follow you? Uh, I have an Instagram. And all my things the same. It's uh, at just Caitlin, and I'll pop up how to spell. It's K A I T L I N at just Caitlin. Wonderful. Hang on, let me write this down. Shh. Did you guys know that Caitlin, uh, Caitlin broke our toilet and then fixed it, and none I of did. you noticed. I did. That is very I did. funny. I Nobody was here noticed. Up. Yeah, I, I, w- I was like, "That's perfect." No, I, t- I took a picture of um, 
of uh, the top of the toilet, <laughs> how, how it is right now. Yeah. And it's like there's that poo poopery, yeah. And then there's like a, a a Lysol spray, and then there's like glue, gorilla glue. <laughs> no, just, it, just can I ask one question? Y- yeah. In your mind, worst case scenario, who would get you in trouble? The guy who cut the wires to our internet, the guy whose girlfriend put seventeen gallons of milk in the <laughs> ceiling, uh, is, is, is Steve, Steve Lee. S- <laughs> 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 I'm taking note of all this. We've all <laughs> trashed this. We've trashed that. Yeah, it just it snapped in half in my hand, and I honestly I just looked at it for a long time. <laughs> yeah, really, cons- I've never heard of that. And then I, and I don't know. It just You've left never a heard little of the angry poops. Kate had that. Kate I had mean, did I tell you she wanted I've, it gone? But like I didn't know. <laughs> just, <laughs> you just punched the back of the plush. <laughs> she wanted that poo to Everybody, come part the road. Oh my God. <laughs> had gone home and it was like 5 p.m. and I'm just standing here like with the toilet handle in my yeah. hand and so I like I couldn't glue it back on with that. It, it Did it feel like a, a metaphor? It popped upward like and we so can't you keep our shit together? Yeah. Mm, so I, I nice. just started going nice? through stuff and I duct taped it down for a little bit the little nub I pulled it down yeah. and duct taped it and then I found the Gorilla Glue and like put the handle back on and was holding it. Well you did a great job. And then I yeah. forgot how fast Gorilla Glue dries. Oh it's insane. And so my hand was momentarily glued to the oh toilet. Oh my gosh. Mm. And like story. because I it was like it was billowing out, and I was like, "Oh, smooth it down; they won't notice." This and then, like, like my movie, finger, and then hours. I went like that. that. Sweet. And I was you, like, you, "No oh, one cares. Fucking shit. <laughs> doesn't have no one arm. cares if you broke the yeah. toilet yeah, handle. I broke the I'm toilet. sorry that you were kind of afraid but I for a moment. The toilet. No, the craftsmanship is next level. Yeah. I mean, it definitely looks like it broke, but you did a great job putting it, it back together. It's sad because the reason I was so scared is it wasn't because I broke it. I was like, this is the set of trivia bidet, and I broke it. That's, <laughs> oh, that was no, the first no, thought was fine. that this is a well, set. This well, is a working set. One day that toilet will I be in the Smithsonian. It. That's the thing about trivia bidet. We don't use <laughs> yeah. the flusher. Yes, we certainly <laughs> don't. Yet. But it is a nice it is a nice accessory. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much. Kate, thank you so Thanks, much. Steve. Joe, Elliot, thank you so much. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. And audience listening, thank you. You so thank much, you, thank and you. I'm talking to two portions of the audience. One yep. is the patrons. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much because you thank get this you. podcast before so anybody lot. else, and then you get access to the full video version mm-hmm. as well, and other fun um, exclusives and coupons on new merch. Yeah. Which we have a new poster out now that is amazing. Mm-hmm. Go check it out. Mm-hmm. And the peanut butter by Benji <laughs> afternoon peanut butter spoon T-shirt, yeah. which is what he was just talking about. I think. No, right? no, we have. Mm-hmm. A, I, oh, it's different. Okay, yeah. good, the good. cartoon, the rainbow cartoon one, the one that that guy. Oh yeah, is that? Up in the shop already? I bought it from him. Son of a bitch. Now it's for sale. Well, I want one. I'm going to fucking buy one. Yeah. Um, Well, guys, thank you. And also, thank you to the non patrons. We appreciate you as well. Benji Campbell is the artist. Benji Campbell. Benjamin Campbell. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, So, yeah. But thank you guys so much for listening. And we'll catch you next time on the Valley. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I love you.